Hello boxing fans, this is my post fight for Dennis Lebedev versus James Tony. First thing I'm just going to do the shout out to the people who got this right and there's only two people who got this right and that's Bobby Soap and RG Love. So good predictions guys, thanks for commenting, keep commenting because everyone gets a shout out if they get it right. So now to the match, if you didn't already know, James Tony lost all 12 rounds and you, it's easy to say he was severely embarrassed. You could say as well the fight could have been stopped at any time past the 8th round because James Tony wasn't even in the fight at that point. I think it's safe to say that James Tony looked every part of his 43 years of age. I think it's also fair to say that the amount of weight he'd taken off trying to just make weight has definitely affected his ability. What I saw was he wasn't very elusive like he usually is. He was totally outboxed at times. He had zero footwork, reduced punch resistance. He, he had zero balance and I think he may have injured his left knee or ankle but it's not important because I don't think it would have effectively changed the fight. I, f I thought he was very slow. He was too slow at throwing the right hand counter which is usually his best punch and also when he did throw it it was totally telegraphed and to make matters worse James Tony was shattered after the seventh round. The last point I'd like to make about James Tony was I think it may have been awkward for him fighting a southpaw because it's a mirror image of himself that he's having to fight and he's, he's usually good at fighting southpaws except this time it was a big problem he couldn't get past the jab, the jab was was all over his face and then whenever he was thinking about throwing a right hand he was countered by a double left hook from Lebedev. Moving on now to what Dennis Lebedev did correctly I think it's safe to say that Dennis Lebedev outlanded James Tony at least 12 to 1 each round. Lebedev was also quicker he was also the better boxer throwing out the jab constantly the jab was hitting the face constantly. James Tony didn't know how to get away from it and every time he he saw the left hand coming in, he was then doing his, his swerving, ducking and swerving, but even some of those were connecting, it wasn't a normal James Tony fight. Also James Tony totally respected the power and he felt it and not uh, numerous times throughout the fight. I think in every every round, Lebedev landed a good left hand that James Tony was wobbled by. I think it was a mixture of the terrible balance by Tony and the actual good power of Lebedev. Unfortunately for James Tony, now after the fight, I think it's time to turn the lights out on his great career. I think he's had a great career, but at this age, he can't last with the better, with the better contenders in the division. And at the higher weight, especially, it will just get blown out the water. There's a lot of people who have gone, who have started saying that James Tony ten years ago wouldn't have lost to Lebedev, but that was ten years ago. This is now. That's the point. If your auntie had balls, should be your uncle. Now, I don't think James Tony is going to retire, and for that reason I can only see one good matchup for him, and it could happen in many places in the world where his name means something, and it could be James Tony versus Roy Jones Jr. number 2. And now moving on for Lebdev, I can see him facing a lot of people. He's basically showed himself up as a really good boxer and a really good fighter, and I think that he could go for another title fight against Marco Hook if he wants it. Or he could face one of the other world, world title holders. And I think the future's bright for him. I think he can make a lot of money in this sport. And I think he can make a lot more excitement. Okay, now that's all I'm going to say on this fight. I'm just going to clarify everything. So, if you have, if you don't already know, basically. So, the fight was won by Dennis Lebedev. He won every round. In what was more of an embarrassment and a slaughter than a fight. And James Tony may have seen the end bell, but hopefully... He's going to call it lights out on his career. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Keep watching for the rest of my predictions.